Hi guys, let's have a look at a paragraph about winds. Winds, like all gases, air constantly moves. Masses of air, warm or cool, wet or dry, move across land and sea and bring about weather changes. During this process, one air mass replaces another. When air is heated, it expands. Hot air is less dense than cold air. For this reason, it rises and leaves behind an area of low pressure. Unlike hot air, cold air has a large density. Instead of rising, it presses heavily on the Earth's surface. Therefore, it produces an area of high pressure. Since gases always try to move from high to low pressure, winds are caused by the flow of cold air which tries to replace the rising hot air. Good job, man. Good yes. job. I have just one question. Yes. I heard that you said the hot air has a lower density. What do you mean? Can you explain? When you heat the air, okay, uh, the air's volume will increase because in the air there are gas molecules. Okay. Uh, when the air heated, the molecules says that I want to go far away from the molecules. Okay. So the volume will increase. Yes. And if the volume will increase. You know the density equals mass divided by volume? Yes. If the volume increases, density will be decreased. Yeah, it's gonna be lower. Yes. Wonderful. Nice job. That's a great uh, that's a great information for you for your future uh, chemistry life. You will face these facts, this formula a lot, a lot, a lot times. Wonderful. Good job, yes. man. Thanks.